Chris and his head over heels in love. You know you're getting old when this is the kind of sausage you're laying on <laughs> Valentine's Day. If we don't check in now, we're probably doing illegal stuff. Yeah, I've never seen anyone go that fast on that dinghy. Yeeps. Is she gonna crash into our boat? Let me slip you some chocolate on Valentine's Day, Tings. <laughs> I don't think you should do that. No? Don't, don't refer to the customs ladies as Tings. I don't wanna get kicked out. We're in big trouble here in the BVI. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to Sailing GBU. Today is an exciting day and we're about to lift off from our mooring from St. John and we're heading to the BVI today. And I can't wait. We haven't got our passports out in a while, so this should be exciting. trails, new horizons today. We're leaving the U.S. behind. And that's the first time I've done this in a while. I think we've been U.S. bound for the last three years. And this is going to be the first stamp, hopefully today, that I can get on my passport that I've had in a while. You know, I'm going to be actually out here in England. So, you know, I'm going to the British Virgin Islands and I'm excited to see how they do it. I believe the Bahamas is owned by Britain as well. So let me know if I'm correct on that. And you know, hopefully I get those Bahamian, Bahamian, hopefully I get those Bahamian vibes again because, you know, the Bahamian vibes are good vibes. So we're ripping it. I'm excited to get somewhere new and I'm excited to take you guys along for the journey. All right guys, so our first stop in the BVI, we're going to, I think it's pronounced Yost Van Dyke. Let us know, is it or Jost is it Van Dyke Jost. or is it Yost Van Dyke? I think it's- Or is it Yost Van Dyke? I think it's Yost Van Dyke, but our first stop is Great Harbor, so we can check in and we wanted to find out some information, you know, how much, how much is it gonna cost to check in? You know, it's been a long time since we actually checked into another country, so. Matt has a funny story to tell what happened when we called him. The lady was like harassing me on the phone. I think that this is like a smaller immigration's office, so she wasn't really harassing me, she was just being funny. Um, so I called and I'm like, oh, so what's the check-in procedure like? She says, okay, you come here, you go there. And I'm like, okay, cool. She was like, you might not even be able to stay for longer than 30 days. She's like, when you have your, she called it an interrogation. She said, whoever is interrogating you, gonna decide. Could be one day, could be five days, could be up to 30 days. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So shoot, I guess I'll wear a clean shirt. I tried to like make a joke to like lighten the mood a little bit. And she was like, okay, can I help you with anything else? And I was like, oh yeah. Uh, how much, what are the fees for checking in? She's like, it don't have a set fee because we don't know how long you're gonna be staying here. She's like, but it says clearly on the website that you bring enough money to cover your trip. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I know I have money and it's gonna cost me money to come there, but I'm just wondering like, 
there's not a set fee for checking in. She's like, nope, it's not a set fee, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, oh man, I hope this just doesn't turn into like what it did in the Dominican Republic where it was just like, ah. Don't say that. <laughs> Basically, we don't know how long we're gonna be able to stay or how much it's gonna cost. So, so we might get shaked down. I'm pretty curious. I hope that you don't say too many dad jokes and they say, you were only here for five days. I'm not saying any jokes. <laughs> I'm going up in there. I might, it's Valentine's Day, so I might stop at the corner store and buy them some chocolate. Maybe slide some chocolate their way and say, happy Valentine's Day, girl. <laughs> I say, you know, I like them tings. Let me slip you some chocolate on Valentine's Day, Tings. I don't think you should do that. No, don't, don't refer to the customs ladies as Tings. So one problem that I run into with this is because my little holder here, I didn't turn enough when I installed it. So now when I let more sail out and there's more rope in here, this will sit there and rub on that metal and it'll chafe and cut through. So I'm thinking I can either take this whole thing apart and move it a little bit, or I can just get my grinder out, maybe knock like a half inch off that side and it would give me plenty of room, so. Why don't you just put some rubber? I could try to put some rubber there, but I think the rope would just eat through it and it would get to the metal anyway. So a lot of times I have to come up here manually and move the rope so that it doesn't get stuck and cut. Right, so as far as the actual sail is going today, it's going pretty well. We're clipping along at three and a half to five knots. And uh, it was supposed to be southeast wind, which would have been really, really nice, but some storms and some squalls have pushed up into the clouds. And I actually have a really small sail plan. I'm pretty reefed up on the head sail. I have the full main, but uh, I even have that eased a little bit. And then I have my head sail small because there's some really low lying storms. And what I've noticed from sailing around Culebra and those is those can kind of turn into like water spouts real quick. And you just can, you can get like short bursts of really intense wind. So I'm doing a small sail plan today. We don't have that far to go. Right now at the moment, the wind's coming off this storm and it actually is kicking a little bit out of the south. So we're cruising straight to where we're going at the moment. but. It's been kind of on and off all day. We just crossed the territorial line. So now we have officially entered the waters of the BVI, so if we don't check in now, we're probably doing illegal stuff. And Matt found our old yellow quarantine flag, but I'm not sure if people still use those. I don't know if that's an outdated thing. What do you think? I know that people for sure still use them. You have to use a quarantine flag, but I think ours is so rust stained that it probably just looks like some weird tie-dyed other kind of flag and it doesn't <laughs> necessarily meet the quarantine flag requirements anymore. So. We'll see, hopefully we don't get in no trouble. I think a lot of things today though, like you said, are mechanical or online and no one's out there with binoculars looking at every boat going by saying, oh, he's got his quarantine flag, let's keep an eye on him. I mean, there's 50 boats going by, so I guess we'll just see. sprinkle from the rain coming in but 
We're about half a mile out. We're about to pull down the sails and then we're not sure if we're gonna be grabbing a mooring ball or anchoring. And then we're gonna run into land to check in. So here we go. We're about to be at the BBI. And I feel like I see the beach that the famous soggy dollar bar's at. So we're gonna have to hit that eventually. Get excited. Yep, soggy. Painkillers oh. all around. Alright, so we rolled up to the mooring field, we blazed in, and there's orange ones and white ones. They all look pretty good, pretty well maintained, um, but the one said bodyball.com you can reserve, so the I'm thinking there's, the orange ones did, yeah, so I think there's some sort of online reservation you can do, um, so I'm looking into that now. Maybe the white ones are like mandated just by the harbor, I really have no idea, but I, I will learn, and that's the fun part about cruising. You get to go to new places and learn all the new and exciting boring ball nuances of every country. And you hope no one reserved the one you grabbed. Yeah, if it's, <laughs> I, I hope nobody reserved 57 or whichever one that is. Cause they 49, not 49. Oh, so I hope nobody reserved 49 because we got it. We own it. All right, so we realized that the reserve balls are $55 a night and that the balls went up from 30 to 40 for the white ones. So we're going to go ahead and grab the white ones, do that quick savings of 15 bucks, and then figure out how to pay them in there. We think this boat rolling up, we might have reserved their ball and it says explicitly online, do not be that captain that just ties up to some ball and that we someone were else them. reserved. And we were them and they said that they can deny our account forever now. So we're in big trouble here in the BVI. <laughs> BVI stands for Big Trouble Virgin Islands. Dang bro, look how clear the water is. You can see our whole rudder. Shoo. I hope it don't fall off like it did that one time. <laughs> All right guys, we're heading into land. We're gonna check in and we're gonna see what this is gonna cost us to be in this beautiful island. We're gonna see what it costs to be a Brit. <laughs>
I guess they changed the area of the check-in building. So luckily a nice lady that was gonna sell us some banana bread told us where we had to go. So we're walking there now. We could have just taken the dinghy there, it would have been a lot easier, but now we got to take a nice fun walk through town. Kristen is head over heels in love with the BVI. She's taking a picture it's of awesome. every every bush, every tree. <laughs> Some reason she sees the papayas <laughs> no. here and she's going, oh my God, papayas. But you know, in my love town, Puerto Rico, she didn't care about the papayas. Yes, I did. It's just yeah. really cool here. They have like a, almost like a ghost town. Like there's no one out right now. So it's like a whole bunch of beach bars that are up and running and open with no one there. It's very calm vibes. It is, it's chill vibes, the vibes. like a dead dolphin. When we first got the boat, a dolphin was dead next to the boat. So we named the boat after the dolphin so he can still live and still go through the ocean. This, I don't want to get kicked out. <laughs> we don't kill the dolphin, it was already like that. We did it, we got our paperwork, we're checked in, and we got, what did we get, 30 days? 30, yep, we got a month. We got 30 days, and it did not cost much. How much did it cost to check in? It was $26 to check in. Yeah, so no big deal. And now we're here and it was pretty easy, right? And they were really nice. Yeah, they were super nice about it. They were really kind. Um, we heard a lot of stories from the customs senior officer. And then uh, they said you can apply for an extension after the 30 days if we're not done yet. So we'll have to see from then if maybe we want to stay in longer. Yep, so now we're going into town. I think we're gonna try to go to the famous Foxy's bar if oh, it's open. So you're saying we might get a new crew member? What Tur does that mean? Turn up Tina is showing up? <laughs> no, I'm just My gonna favorite. have one drink because Matt's making me a special Valentine's dinner and I'll show you that later. Oh, Hopefully yeah. if he still makes it. Oh, it's gonna come out good. <laughs> All right, I've never seen this soda before, so I had to try it. The old Jamaica cream soda. It's more like a champagne cola, if you know what I'm saying. This, I only bought it though because it's like I win one million Jamaican dollars. Believe I win that, you're gonna be calling me Matt Marley. So far we bought a homemade banana bread with coconut loaf from the nice lady at the dock. It looked really good. She had a lot of good rum breads and all these good things. And I just find it funny because ever since we lived in Puerto Rico for so long, now Matt accidentally speaks Spanish all the time. And I have to keep telling him, he said C like a couple times and then he says permiso. And I had to tell him a hundred times, no one's speaking Spanish here, bro. Ay, Dios mío, gringa. First of all, I don't say permiso. Like you here, said I say, that. I say permiso. Permiso, <laughs> mi amiga. Lo siento. And I say, si. Sí. I don't say, si, sí, like you. you know, <laughs> Whatever. He's speaking Spanish and no one else is, so. I don't know if we're ever going to be able to pull him out of this. I think he really is a real Puerto Rican now. Si. Sí. Estoy a Puerto Rican, <laughs> boat and we only had two drinks each and they were strong so we're a little slizzard is that the word <laughs> i think so <laughs> i don't know slizzard anyways 
It's Valentine's Day, like we said, and Matt is spoiling me because he's making me a special dinner. He has prepared homemade pizza crust. He's been really into making bread lately and he's been doing a good job. And he's gonna make me homemade pizza and we have champagne in the fridge. So I'm feeling like this is a very special Valentine's Day. We sailed to the BVI, we're having a great time. And I just don't know if this pizza's gonna come out. I'm really got my fingers crossed. What do you think, Matt? Uh, it's gonna come out good. Where do you taste this sauce? I made fresh gravy, <laughs> as the Italians would say. No, Italians, they get crazy about sauce and they say, you can't call it sauce, it's called gravy. And then other Italians are like, it's never been called gravy. It's been sauce forever. So yeah, I made, I made homemade. Oh, stick your stinky, dirty little finger in there and tell me how good that is. Is that how you should talk to your lady on Valentine's Day? Yeah, you were talking trash about it. You don't know how it's going to come out, so you started it. Oh my god, it tastes really good. Yeah, exactly. One more time for the folks it watching It tastes at really home. good, guys, but it's not done yet. Listen, y'all, I'm not going to lie. Foxies, don't, they don't play no games. Whatever they put in that, it was strong. So I'm, I'm pretty blazed. I might burn. I might burn my fingers. giving it a light oil based on the crust. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm just doing it because it looks cool. And then I'm gonna brush on my tomato paste. How much do you put on? That seems like enough, right? All right, now it's cheese time. I'm gonna overlap a little bit of the cheese in the, oh, we should've done stuffed crust. You still can. No, I'll get the sauce everywhere. We could have, but we blew it. So we'll just overlap the cheese and the crust a little bit. And I'm not gonna lie, guys, I don't know if it's just because I'm turnt as hell. But I just You're been... not that drunk, bro. Bro, I feel like I'm blazed. I really haven't been drinking strong drinks Look at like this. that. <laughs> I've just been singing Motabelli, 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 Motabelli. So to all my Italian viewers out there, if there are any, can y'all tell me a different song to sing when I'm making pizza besides Motabele, 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 Motabele? Or if you know what Motabele means, please tell me that also. <laughs> All right, y'all, since this is a special, excuse me, drove us drunk me. And since this is a special Valentine's Day love pizza, we're cutting one special pepperoni. And I gotta be honest with you guys. <laughs> You know you're getting old when this is the kind of sausage you're laying on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Kristen got these stupidest oven mitts that like don't work. And they're they do work, they're just not for big hands. They're too small for me, so I just want, I have a special friend that wants to wish you a very happy Valentine's Day. Ladies and gentlemen, a great Kermit the Frog. Hello. I just want to wish everyone a merry Valentine's Day, and I hope that everyone gets to stick it to their own special Miss Piggy. I'm shocked. This is great homemade dough. Well, I got, I don't know if I put enough sauce on it, but I got enough sauce in this bowl that we can make more sauce. All right, cheers. Some good pizza. It smells good. You try it first. I think it's gonna be pretty crispy. Yeah, it looks perfect. Do you put seasoning in the crust? Yeah. Tastes good. It's pretty good. I feel like it's missing something though. Yeah. I think maybe it's missing like a butter or something in the dough. 
but it was not very rich. But either way, I can hands down say that this would be the best pizza you would ever get in the Dominican Republic. <laughs> we had some pizzas there, and I was like, whoa, wait a minute. There's They use barbecue sauce for pizza sauce. Yeah, they, they'll mix like barbecue sauce and salsa. But they call it regular pizza sauce. Yeah, there was a French guy that made it. No, I, You know, I love my Dominican Republicans. You know, I'm, I'm technically mi hermano de Dominicana. It's good though, this is good. And you didn't burn it, it's good. Thanks for watching this week's video, guys. We are having the time of our lives, as you can see. I'm so happy to be here in the BVI. I don't even think I've dreamed of getting to the BVI in my whole thought process of sailing this boat. I was hoping we'd get to the Virgin Islands, but I didn't think we'd ever get to the British Virgin Islands. I don't think we realized how close they were until like a week and a half Yeah, ago. we didn't. So we're super excited. There's so much to see around here. Hit subscribe. If you haven't hit subscribe, we got a lot coming your way. We still need to go to the whole beach over there that's full of bars. They got the Soggy Dollar Bar that everybody knows is the famous bar down here. And we're just really excited to check out the islands. Yo, and Foxy's was cool because it had all stickers and all flags from all kinds of boats. And we've met a lot of people on this journey. And I got to see my dog Nestor's Viva Verde sticker in there. I was like, oh man, that's... That's my dog. He came over here and he went to Foxy's one time as well. We finally left Puerto Rico. We finally left the USVI. And that's it. Now we're just chasing horizons. All right, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Oh, wait. Don't forget to check out our t-shirts on Teespring. Links are down below. I hope everyone's getting their shirts properly. I did see a couple comments about people wondering where their shirts are coming. Sometimes Teespring gets a little behind and we'll have that coming if they really suck you know we're just gonna put some discount codes out there discount codes might be coming if your if your order is too backlogged but i want to thank all the homies for getting their dead dolphin t-shirts i was nervous about that because it's it can be a little morose um to people that don't know the story but that's actually like our highest selling shirt of all time so we got the homies out there repping the double d good lord what hey i never seen anyone go that fast on that thingy Yeeps. is he gonna crash into our boat I like it. I mean, it definitely does look like it. Okay, never mind. Need to return. No, none yet. But how much is it? Five per bag. Okay, cool. I'll see you tomorrow, maybe. Yo, that's the kind of engine I need for my dinghy. That thing is baller. So this young gentleman here rides around and says, "You want me to take your trash for five dollars a bag? They come out and pick it up for you." That's something they don't do in the, in the us be. Andy's driving like a crazy person. So yeah, anyways, <laughs> thanks to the homies for supporting the Dead Dolphin t-shirt. That was dope. Love you guys. And I can't wait to see one in the wild. Bye.